Okay, so I'm going to do a quick review of Science in the Beginning by Dr. J. Weil. This is the, sec uh, the same author who did the older Apologia curriculum. So far, this is our best curriculum. It's still not a perfect fit for us, but it's, it's pretty good. So what we do with this is we just get a blank notebook and then I did get the helps and hints because it really wasn't it, it was helpful and so just to give you a look on the inside I have my shopping list of what I need to grab from here I'm sorry my cat is excited and <laughs> not super helpful so Looking through some of the pages, I'll try and go slow enough so that you can pause it and actually, I wonder if there's a best way to angle this or not. Um, but introduction, uh, they tell you what you need ahead of time if you want to go and gather them. And then they have extra lessons, like if you want to delve deeper. Or, like, honestly, we're taking two years to do this just because it's better for us. My daughter is in third grade this year. Uh, originally, we did Konos, which didn't work for us. And then we did Apologia um, Junior, which was just way too much for us. And then we did some Abeka, which was way too little. It was not nearly enough. Um, so we've been kind of looking for the perfect thing. So one of the things I love about this is it's not just a focus on flying creatures of the fifth day or astronomy or whatever. It, it has a little bit of everything and it follows um, God's order of doing things because he figured there's a really good reason God did it that way and so we study it that way. So the first day of creation and you do just a little bit of reading and you pretty much always start with the experiment. And all of the experiments have pretty much been something that my third grader could do almost on her, on her own. Um, obviously, you kind of want to be there for it, but they're really very simple. I love science, but for some reason in my home, I'm not a huge experiment person, just being honest. And these have been very, very manageable. And my daughter has exclaimed how much she's really appreciated these. And then they have the younger students, the older students, and the oldest students. Um, it's colorful and, I mean, right? Look, look, lesson two. They're much shorter lessons. And the lesson review, there's retention questions after every single lesson. The Apologia did not have that. And that is really crucial for my daughter um, where we do a little bit, we do an experiment, we talk about it. Um, so just flipping a little bit more now, just to try and get a good view of everything that's in there. You know, you do, it's, it's well loved already. You're going over batteries, infrared light. Oh, my daughter loved that one. So sun energy, Reflection. I've honestly learned a lot of stuff too this year. Um, and that was all the first day. But the last experiments we didn't do for nearly the first of this because we were trying to get through it in a year. And then we decided that we wanted to just take our time more with some of the things that we were doing. Um, some of the experiments we've done recently is one with sunblock where we took newspaper and we put some sunblock on part of it on handy wrap and not on others and we left it outside all day to see what happened. We got to um, start a fire with a magnifying glass outside. My daughter really enjoyed that one. <laughs> Most of the other experiments though have been on, like we took our globe and a flashlight and a, a baseball and um, we mimicked solar and lunar eclipses and that really helped it to kind of solidify the understanding in her mind. I mean, but these are just very doable. Um, I think it could be very good for families. Um, my son is still, uh, he's in preschool, so 
most of the time he joins us for the experiments and that's it. That's honestly all he does. And sometimes we still don't do the experiment just because we're busy. Oh, the planets one was really cool for us because what we did is it had us blow up balloons for the larger planets and we measured like how big to make them. And then for clay or we use Play-Doh, we got different things for that. And the sun was like, it told you how big they were and um, that one I really enjoyed as well, and it showed how much bigger, you know, the sun is to the earth and all the other stuff. Um, they also have that you can copy a, like a unit test. So, um, I just make a copy and I stick it so I remember to do it, and this is optional. And again, my daughter's only in third grade, but it shows you lessons 61 through 66, and you can go over what the test um, requires. Um, and I let my daughter look through her, her um, notebook. And in a way, this is, this is really just for her, you know, drawing what she wants in there and how she wants sometimes she really doesn't care. She just wants to get the writing done. And I'm not sure if I really want to force her to do it. I really feel that for the most part, this curriculum can be an open and go curriculum. Most of the stuff for the science experiments, except for a few, unless you have dietary restrictions, like we're allergic to eggs, so we had to go and buy an egg uh, for, for the experiment, but um, you can really pretty much for the most part just open and go. What are we doing today? You need a ball, a flashlight, a stool, someone, and a large room that you can make dark, right? These are all usually things that you can just open and go. And in this we have, if I can do this, what's in here. So again, there's the introduction. And this just has like the answers to the questions that's in here. Most of it I've known. There's only been a few times where, uh, again, I like science um, that I, so sometimes I, I needed it, but most of the time I could figure it out pretty easily. And again, my also daughter's also the younger student. So as you get older, maybe you might want it more. Um, let's see, and then here's where it has like the tests that you're allowed to copy um, and give to your child if you want, and then they have the answers to it. So um, I hope that was helpful. So far, this is what we're using and we're happy with it. I love how it's organized. Um, I wish it had a better notebook, kind of like the Apologia ones, but maybe more simple, um, just because the Apologia, that's the thing that I loved about it was the notebooks because they were just fantastic, but the curriculum just did not work for us. And I really felt when the kids were too hyper-focused on one specific day, they kind of lose a little bit of everything else. And this kind of helps them see a little bit about space, a little bit about light, a little bit about physics, a little bit about, you know, all of these things and how they work together. And it really helped to get them curious and thinking about things. So anyway, this is our experience with science in the beginning. And so far it is our favorite for elementary school science.